Yo, my name is Barry and welcome to my channel. I've always had this compulsion when it comes to writing to create a piece of work in every single one of the mediums. So I want to be able to tick the box of a novel and a short story and a poem and a play and all these various things because I just enjoy the challenge of that. I like the challenge of tackling every single medium and figuring out what skills are needed and how do you actually go about writing for those different use cases in a way. And so what I thought I'd do this week is write my very first short story. And what I'd like to do in this video is share a little bit about my experience to hopefully help other writers out there who might be in a similar position, but also to try and explain to non-writers why this might be a really cool exercise for you to practice your communication skills in the 21st century. What prompted all of this was that I listened to this interview with Chuck Palahniuk, the guy who wrote the book Fight Club, which got turned into that Brad Pitt movie that everyone loved. And he was talking about how sad he was that the short story didn't have the same gravitas or respect that the novel did. Of course, novels are very much in our mainstream culture. They are kind of a mark of literary genius and everyone is very proud of novels. But for some reason, short stories don't get that same attention. And he was saying that this is wrong because in a lot of cases, it takes more skill to write a really good short story than it does a novel. In a short story, you've got so many fewer words, obviously, and you want to wring out every single piece of character development, of plot line, of emotional development into so many fewer words. So you have to be so much more strategic about how you tell your story in a way that really does get the whole message across in a much shorter time frame. In a novel, you've got lots of space for the plot to breathe. You've got lots of time for long pieces of character development. You can spell out absolutely everything that you want the reader to know about a setting or about a character or whatever the story is. But in a short story, you aren't able to do that. You have to be much more precise and that's where the skill comes in. Chuck was saying that a lot of us writers should be practicing short stories because it really does test your skill and it means you can't rely on fluff or extra nonsense to get your story across. And so I took that to heart and decided I was going to try and write my very first one. So what I thought I would do was share five things I was focusing on that are very specific for a short story compared to any other piece of writing. The first one is nothing but action. Every single sentence in your short story must be pushing the plot line forward. There's no time for background information, there's no time for backstory. Every single line has got to be action in a way and pushing that plot line forward so that you can get your reader from where they start to whatever transformation you want them to feel by the end of the story. This is very different to longer pieces of writing where you can be very flowery in your language, you can really explain the hell out of things. In a short story, it's action, action, action. And that leads us to number two, which is to imply information. And the way you do that is by really being strategic with your words and allowing the reader to interpret the backstory you're hoping they'll pick up. By carefully crafting exactly how you want your character to speak or to act or to be as a human being, that should imply for the reader what that person's backstory actually was. And so if you're able to do that well, the reader doesn't need to have it spelt out to them. You don't have to kind of hit them on the nose with the facts. You can just let them understand what type of person this is, what type of character it is, through their actions and that's what the plot needs to push this thing forward. So unlike in a novel where you can sit and explain exactly how green that hedge was and exactly what kind of person that guy was, in a short story the actions have to speak for themselves. And this is why it requires so much more skill because you can't just say it directly, it has to be implied through the way the story unfolds. Number three is crucial for any storytelling but for short stories specifically it's even more important. And that's to have a gripping start, a gripping beginning that really pulls the reader in, and then a great ending that really lets them think about what the story actually meant. It might even make sense to write for yourself two or three different endings to see how they feel and see how they impact the way the story feels in the reader's hands. By putting a lot of effort into the beginning and the end, you already won half the battle. And then you just have to make sure that the middle gets you from point A to point B. Number four is kind of obvious, but it needs to be said, you need to have minimal characters. You don't just want to have characters there for the sake of it. You don't have the space, you don't have the time to have lots of secondary characters. I think it's much better to see things happen through the eyes of one, two or three main characters rather than five or six secondary characters where the reader doesn't really get a chance to empathize with them and to root for them at the end of the day. And number five is the most difficult one of all, but this is where the skill comes in, and that is to narrow the scope and narrow the story arc. 
Get things down to basics. In a short story, your story arc has to be very heavily compressed. And ideally, you're trying to communicate one idea, one concept, one feeling for the reader after they've read your piece. And so make sure when you're starting off, when you're writing your outline, when you're figuring out what the plot is going to be, narrow the scope as much as possible. Remember, you can always expand that story arc later. Once you've written the first draft and you've got a sense of what it feels like, you can expand some things if you feel like it's a little bit sparse. But what I found, and what I think you will find, is that the more narrow the scope, the more depth you can squeeze out of those few thousand words, and it makes that story so much richer than it would have been if you were trying to accomplish too much, right? The whole art of a short story is that you're wringing all the juice out of every single word and making sure that there are none there that are fluffy or unnecessary. You're pushing the plot line forward with every single sentence, and that's what makes these things so great to read, at least the good ones. And so those are my five things to focus on. Obviously, I'm not an expert. This is my very first one, and so I'm learning as I go along, but hopefully those five tips are somewhere to start when you're thinking about writing a very first short story. For those who don't consider themselves creative writers, and I would challenge that, but if you don't consider yourself a creative writer, I think this is an interesting exercise nonetheless. A lot of life today requires communication skills, right? It's a really important skill to get good at, whether it's in writing, whether it's speaking, whether it's body language, etc. Communication is such an important piece of being human. And whether you're doing it at work, in your personal life, with social relationships, online, whatever the story is, we are all communicating all the time. Our ideas, trying to influence people, things we care about, etc, etc. And the better you can get at it, the more you're going to be able to get out of life. So exercises like this are a great opportunity to really test your skills and see if you can improve the way you communicate, both with yourself and with other people. You'd be amazed what happens when you start writing things out because you start to realize how messy your brain actually is. When you start pulling things out of your brain and putting them on paper to be looked at objectively, it's a whole different ballgame. And that is why I have fallen in love with writing. It's one of those things that helps me clarify exactly what I think. And even in a creative space like a story, it still serves the same purpose. So I want to encourage you, even if you've never written a thing in your life, try and write a story of some sort. It will have such immense benefits for you, and I really do think it will make you a happier human being. But again, do what you want, I'm not your dad. That is it for this video. I can't share the actual story with you just yet, unfortunately, because I'm entering it into a competition called the Commonwealth Writers Short Story Competition. And so that still has a few months to run and I can't publish it until they've made their decision. So if I somehow manage to win that competition, which is very unlikely, then it'll be published professionally online and I'll be able to share the link with you. But if not, I will definitely be self-publishing the story on my own site. So the best way to keep in touch is to sign up for my email newsletter. The link is in the description below. And as soon as that story is ready, it'll go straight to all of my subscribers. So come and join the family. That's all from me for now. I hope you found something of value in this video. And if you are going to try and write something, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And I'd love to meet you and connect. But until next time, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a good week.